I can show you on the on the 6th of April I don't speak about now about uh, the March uh, but I can I can tell you uh, in 21 March we have a constellation on one line with uh, instead of uh, Jupiter we have then the Uranus we have the Sun and they have the Earth so even when the Sun is between yes the Sun must be in between yes ah. because the, the mass of the Sun is 99% uh, of the mass in the whole solar system so it's 330 times 300,000 Three. times mm, the mass the of uh, Earth yes yeah. and now we have on 21 March we have Uranus, Sun and Earth on one line but then not on uh, 5 or 6 degree then we have the constellation on 0 degree on the equatorial line okay. so the endangered region is then the, the whole um, the whole um, uh, the whole yeah, region, region in Indonesia, also, yeah, yes, also Indonesia, Indonesia Philippines, Sumatra, because the, the line crosses the Earth's crust on zero degree on the equatorial line. Now we speak about uh, an even more dangerous situation. This is then the 6th of April in 2011. We have a very precise constellation with Jupiter, the biggest planet in, the, in our system where we have a picture here the okay. and then on the, the, the Jupiter line is on uh, 5 degree uh, north of the equatorial line and then we have the Sun here and the, the line the Sun line is on um, is on 6 degree uh, north ab above the equatorial line and here now the endangered region on the Earth we have here a more detailed uh, sketch yes, yes, yes. so we see that this this produces an under pressure zone between uh, approximately here. yes we, we can say the details between the 26 north and and 15 degrees south you see and uh, in this region the central line is here we have here the colored line this is the central line of this uh, this is the dangerous line this is the dangerous line so and and uh, the range the endangered region is is plus minus 20 degree so this the whole region is endangered for very heavy earthquake between 8 and 9 and therefore we have the a possible new epicenter on the north point of Banda the Sumatra, Arche. Banda Aceh, Arche. yes, Banda Aceh, near Banda Aceh, or north of Banda Aceh, which is very dangerous for the whole region here, uh, Thailand also. Um, South Thailand and uh, Burma, Myanmar, you see, and uh, then very dangerous also for the northern part of Indonesia, and if happen a, a very big earthquake in the northern part of Indonesia, also the the Bay of Bangkok or the, the Gulf of Bangkok. The Gulf of Siam. Or the Gulf of also in danger. In danger, yes, because um, um, we see the in this region we we know the, the very famous island of Koh Samui. Yes. We know Hua Hin, you know, so. Um, if there is a very strong earthquake here, this region is also endangered. And then of course um, the Philippines. And on the other side we have uh, Central America, Guatemala, Mexico right. and, uh, yeah. and the Caribbean islands. And when you take a look here, yes. the tsunami from 2004, yes. it was again Banda uh, uh, It was Banda Aceh, Aceh. yes. Aceh. Okay. Now, this is the very big earthquake in 2004 on 26 December, which was on three, was even three, of yes, three, three degree north of the equatorial line. This zero is the equatorial line. Right. And the last earthquake was three degree south of the equatorial line. This was on 25 October okay. 2010 and now the, the dangerous region is now is even closer is even six degree up from the equatorial line and therefore um, and therefore this is very dangerous for, for all so the region starting from the 21st of yes. March until May 20 May yes we actually we, we, we could 
it could happen that there is a big earthquake yes. and then there is a big tsunami coming towards Thailand again. Probably on one side again Phuket and, and the Andaman Sea. Yes. But if it happens over there, yeah. it can also reach the Gulf of Thailand. So, what should we do? We just have to run away. If, uh, if you have an earthquake near the sea, people have to run away and not wait for the people tsunami who, warning. People who yes. stay near the sea, yes. just go. Yes, not wait until the, the tsunami warning, warning comes, uh, like in Sumatra, it came too late. And, uh, and the tsunami waves are much faster than people can run. So, after an earthquake, people have to run away if they live near the coast. Huh? So, this is for this year? Yeah, this is for this year. Isn't there something in September also predicted for this year, September? Um, for September? Or maybe I'm mistaken, okay. Yeah. But no. next year, let's talk about next year. Because next year it should be actually worse. That's what you said. Yeah. Um, this year we have a more dangerous constellation, but which are um, the dangerous lines are um, more in the northern part. So uh, next it is year you mean? Now this year, this, year, this year, yes, 2011. This is then very dangerous for. Uh, for Mexico and when, California. When, when is that happened? Now this, this is in uh, this is in um, in August, yes. In August, September. August, yes, yeah, yeah. August, okay. yes, August, September. So this is more to the north. This is then more in the north, you know, and the endangered regions are um, the Central America, Mexico, Guatemala, and uh, Caribbean island, as well as California. This could uh, trigger. Uh, heavy earthquake between 6 and 7 in California and then in 2012 next year we have three very dangerous constellations for California because then we have the lines up uh, between 15 degrees north and 23 degrees north and uh, this means um, 2012 for California is very dangerous because I calculate with um, earthquake between 7 and 8 magnitude. Hmm. So yeah. could that be that is actually the long waited or long feared for earthquake uh, in California? People are always talked about I think 30 years or I don't know how many years. Yes, the scientists in America they know uh, they are waiting for a big earthquake. They know there is a lot of pressure in the in the in the earth crust, but they don't know um, what can trigger the, the, the earthquake. Okay. And therefore, this very dangerous planetary uh, uh, constellation in 2011 and 2012 can trigger the very big earthquake for California and also uh, shake the, um, the very dangerous region of Yellowstone. Ooh. Yes. And what would happen if? Uh, there's an earthquake near Yellowstone. I mean, there's a huge. Uh, you know, they measured volcano there. in the last year. Uh, they measured. Um, um, they measured a difference, a difference of height in the Yellowstone okay. Park every year, uh, around 20, 20 centimeter higher. You know, and uh, of course, if the if the if the low pressure zone. A region is uh, in California near Yellowstone. This could accelerate also the what happens in in this region could accelerate the whole uh, um, tectonic uh, situation. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. we will see. You know, because this um, this constellation of of six of April with the biggest planet in our system with Jupiter already. In this time uh, frame between um, March 20 and May 20, we'll see what happened in Mexico and California based on this constellation okay. d this year. So, and then with these results, we can see further uh, for California. And what will happen with that one planet? I actually I forgot the name. The one planet who moves, who belongs to our sun system, but moves in the other direction in an ellipse form, yeah. and it, it just comes into our sun, into into our uh, solar system, three thousand six hundred years. 
Yes, three uh, subjects and ideas. there are several names. Um, they speak about um, Nibiru or Planet yes. X. You know. Planet X. That's yes, but I have not. I not have enough uh, data um, to speak about um, this planet. But uh, I know two publications which have been uh, published recently. Um, they have uh, they have discovered a new comet. Also, yeah. A new comet uh, coming in our solar system in um, in the, um, between September October this year, and which um, which will pass uh, by the Earth, yes, very closely by the Earth, um, with about um, one third of the distance between Sun and Earth, uh, about 50 million kilometers from the Earth away. But this is a big distance. But um, I cannot speak about this uh, comet because I only. Um, made research on the on the, on the normal planets okay. on the on the normal yeah. planets yes yeah. thank you very much that was very interesting and uh, if something would happen and you are back in Thailand because usually you live in Switzerland it just comes here every few months yeah. and if you are, when you are back in Thailand and if really something happened and we all survive then <laughs> then we have another talk about it yeah. okay yes. yeah. Mr. Lena thank you very much for your time thank you very much for that very interesting knowledge you passed on to us and give a last one to the people if there's an earthquake Yes. Don't wait on the beach. Don't wait for a tsunami warning, even in the Gulf of Thailand. Yeah. Run away. Yes. Thank you very much.